All right, mate, today we're going to go through the watering system for the vegetable cages I installed. And by the way, if you're interested by the look of them, I encourage you to look for the how to build them video. I'm posting the link in the comment below. My cunning plans to water the vegetables while I'm away start with fitting a brass tap at the end of the garden on a regular hose pipe, on which I put a timer connected to a network hose pipe going there and starting by going underground. I used 42 mm down pipes to sleeve the underground bit to protect it from earth compression. Most of the network stays above ground so I can dismantle it before any damage caused by severe frost occur. Instead of installing a macro drip system, which I found too constraining, I carefully installed a couple of oscillating hose sprinklers. They cover the cages and other patch which need watering. The wheelbarrow is still here. It is to prevent the shed to be watered. I need a more permanent blockage instead, of course. Each split in the installation has a dual tap connector, which allows to select only one outlet if necessary. Here, I have the choice to water only the polytunnel. In the polytunnel, I installed a leaky pipe, which covers the beds, so watering is contained over the plants only and does not create a mess everywhere. Where I live is generally quite wet and I don't need to water the veggies every day. If you have concern about the amount of water, this solution might not be for you, but it was very simple, cost effective, and it works a treat for me. However, the bark between the beds ended up by becoming quite soggy. But now I only use the automatic watering when I go away, so it's cool. I'm sticking with bark because I started using it, so I might as well stick with it. Um, but in about two years, because of the constant watering, it'll decompose, it'll need to be replaced, three if I'm lucky, and it'll be um, dumped onto the compost heap, and then I'll decide if everything stays like this, if that, I want something more permanent, then I'll put pea gravel everywhere. Cost will be an issue if I keep replacing the bark every two years, because this time I got most of it for free because I cut down the trees to do the vegetable area and, you know, I use the shredding. But there you are. Thanks for watching and please subscribe so I can share with you more projects. Yo, mate, yo.